Greetings and welcome once again to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much for giving us this beautiful opportunity to spend time in God's word and a few moments in prayer as well. Today we'll talk about guarding your heart. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 5 and verse 23. Get wisdom, get understanding. Do not forget my words or turn away from them. Above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. These words of wisdom from King Solomon emphasize the importance of protecting our innermost being. Our heart is the source of our thoughts, our attitudes, our beliefs and actions. Therefore, it is crucial to guard our hearts above all else. These words of wisdom from King Solomon emphasize that when we guard our hearts, we take responsibility for our mental, psychological and spiritual well-being. In doing so, we protect ourselves from sinful, sinful influences that impede spiritual progress. By guarding our hearts, we become who God designed us to be, protecting our innermost being. Our hearts is the source of our thoughts, attitudes and beliefs. The heart is a powerful force that drives our actions and influences our thinking and behavior. It can either lead us down a path of righteousness or a path of destruction. Our hearts are susceptible to sinful thoughts, attitudes and beliefs. Hence, we must be mindful of what we allow in our hearts. Everything we do flows from it. Guarding our hearts is about protecting ourselves from external and internal factors. We must be mindful of the things we think about, the things we set our affections on, on the things we give attention to. Negativity, bitterness and anger can take root in our hearts and lead to sin sinful behavior. Guarding our heart means choosing to focus on godly thoughts as well as seeking wisdom and guidance from God. Today's Proverbs aren't talking about the heart that pumps blood through our bodies. The heart we must guard is our commitment to love and serve the Lord no matter what. Wisdom is not a computer chip installed in one's conscience. It all begins with your heart and its alignment with God. It comes by way of obedience to God's word even when it may not make sense to our friends who are not committed to honoring God. It comes by asking God for wisdom in whatever you and I may do. Our hearts set the direction for our living. Jesus promises the joy of God if we, put it, if we are pure in heart. The pure heart knows that whatever we do, it's in full view of God. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for today's scripture. We thank you for teaching us, Lord, to keep our hearts pure, enable us to set our mind, our thoughts, our attitudes, our affections on you, God. We just pray that you will enable us and empower us to walk in holiness. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.